Hello friends, in this session, I'll be taking up one more gate question which has come in gate 2015 and it's from go back in sliding window protocol. In the previous sessions, I took up some questions from stop and wait protocol. In case you didn't view, view them, please, you can just view the previous videos. And in this session, uh, since I'm going to deal with channel utilization questions, so I've already mentioned, I've already written the basic formula for channel utilization for go back in sliding window protocol, which is W into TT upon TT plus 2TP. So TT and TP we already know. TT is the transmission time. TP is the propagation time. And W in this case is the window size. Window size of the sliding window. Right? And uh, quickly moving on to the question. We have... So I'll be discussing a question from gate 2015 which was a 2 mark question and the question is consider a network connecting two systems located 8000 kilometers apart. The bandwidth of the network is 500 into 10 to power 6 bits per second. The propagation speed of the media is 4 into 10 to power 6 meters per second. So this is the propagation speed not the propagation time. So please note down the units are meters per second. That means it's the speed or the velocity not the time. We'll have to find out the time and since we've already been given with the distance we can easily compute the time which I'll be doing uh, after reading on uh, reading the entire question. So next it says that it is needed to design a go back and sliding window protocol for this network. The average packet size is 10 to power 7 bits and the network is to be used to its full capacity. What does this to its full capacity mean? So, it indirectly basically gives us that U is equals to 1 or 100%. So, the channel utilization is 100% over here. Then the minimum size in bits. Then the minimum size in bits of the sequence number fields to, has to be what? So it is fine. Uh, it is actually requiring us to find the value of W and then give us the give the actual number of bits required to form that number of combinations. So let's just see how we solve this question. So it is a very important question from the point of view of understanding of go back and sliding window protocol. So let's start with it. So first of all, it said that. The network has two systems which are 8000 kilometers apart. So let's just draw it like that. So this is system 1, this is system 2. They are 8000 kilometers apart which means it is 8000 into 10 to power 3 which uh, simplifies to 8 into 10 to power 6 meters. So I'm just converting the entire thing into SI units, right? And R was given to us as 500 into 10 to power 6 bits per second. So I've written as R is equals to 5, 5 into 10 to power 8 bits per second then uh, next was v v was given to us as 4 into 10 to power 6 me me uh, meters per second and f was given to us as 10 to power 7 bits so that means we can easily find td which is the transmission rate right and td is equals to f by r So when we find TT from here, we get it as F by R which is 10 to power 7 upon 5 into 10 to power 8. So it simplifies to 0 0.02 seconds. And also since we also had the distance and the speed of the velocity, so we can easily find the propagation time which comes out to be D by V which is 8 into 10 to power 6 upon 4 into 10 to power 6. So it is 2 seconds, right? And U was given out, given as 1 since it was saying it is a full capacity channel. So when we put on these two values in our U formula, so what does it become then? We have our U formula over here. When I uh, use its simplified form, when I use its simplified form of dividing the numerator and denominator by TT, which is this, I just put my value of TP and TT into this. So, which was, what was my TP? TP was 2 seconds and TP was 0 0.02 seconds. So, when I put on these two values and I simplify, I get my W as 201, right? Now, my W is 201, but it did not ask me to give the value of W. What it asked was number of bits to re uh, represent this W value. So, number of bits to represent these many combinations would be log 2 of this value, right? Now, since we don't know the log 2 of this or it will be hard for some of you to find the log 2 of this, just 
just recall the basic notion of log so we already know that log 2 of 256 is this is basically 2 to power 8 right so log 2 of 2 if i simplify it i would write it as something like this and this is 8 of log of 2 2 which is from the log property the power can come uh, in front of this and log of uh, the number with the same base is 1 so this is 8 basically right so log 2 of 256 log of 256 base 2 is 8 and log of 128 base 2 is 7 and this value basically comes within these two values right so this value is coming within these two values so that means my uh, log 2 this value log 2 uh, log 201 base 2 will also lie within 7 and 8 but since i have to take integral number of bits number of bits will always be integral right i cannot say i'm taking 7.5 bits so either i can choose 7 or i can choose 8 but uh, if i choose 7 i'll be losing some information so i have to take the entire information so i'll be choosing some extra bits right extra combinations basically so i'll be taking my answer as 8 so the answer in this case will be 8 bits so that's all for this session hope you would have liked this video and this video would have helped you in some manner in case it did please like the video and please keep following the channel for more good work coming up thank you thank you friends